All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are talking about dual battery bikes. Gonna be real with you, this is kind of a filler episode. The inspiration for this topic came from the research I've been doing for my next bike build. I'm in the middle of dumping uh, a lot of money into this bike doing essentially every upgrade you can possibly think of. I'm still in the middle of doing these upgrades. Uh, I have some of them done, like the suspension fork. It's different now. Once I'm done, I will have a detailed video reviewing what I've done, how much better it is. But I guess I can not tell you what I'm doing. So a big change is I'm finally getting a 72 volt battery. Very excited to see how much of a performance difference there is between the 60 volt and a 72 volt battery, all else being equal. And unlike every other bike I've owned, this one's from a reputable manufacturer that uses high quality, high current battery cells. And I'm very excited to tell you guys more about it. Obviously I have new suspension, both front and back. I'll be telling you guys what exactly I went with and if I think it's worth it. There's a bunch of smaller upgrades too, like the pedals, the throttle. I ordered a full twist, so I'm gonna have that for the first time. Oh yeah, and I'm thinking about adding regen while keeping my geared hub motor. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that because it is kind of an expensive process, but I could show you guys how to do so. I was also thinking about and researching how to do a dual battery system. And that finally brings us to the topic of today's video. So adding a second battery to your existing system is a little bit daunting because if you don't do correctly, if the voltages don't match, they could explode when you connect them together. So in order to not have that happen, you need to buy one of these kind of expensive uh, dual battery smart combiner thingy-majibs. So you make sure that your batteries are the same voltage, you get one of these, pay for the quality, it's worth it, and bada bing bada boom, you should have a dual battery configuration. But if you don't wanna do it yourself, you can buy pre-existing bikes with dual battery configurations. And let's go over some of those now. The most uh, cool dual battery bike I've seen to date is the Mighty Apex. This of course has dual batteries, voltage of 52. Each battery has an amp hour capacity of 20. So together it's 52 volts, 40 amp hours with a total watt hour energy capacity of around 2000. I did notice a trend where most dual battery bikes also have dual motor configurations. I'm not sure why they do this. I think they're targeting the enthusiast, so they just toss everything at the wall. And you guys guessed it, this bike has dual motors. They're both 1,000 watts. Again, I think just one motor with a, a wattage of two, 3,000 would have been just as good, but they chose to go in a different direction here. And they're asking for $3,400 for this package. And I did check, the batteries are legit. They're using quality LG cells. And whenever you talk about quality, especially with batteries, you have to pay for that, which is fine. I don't think you should cheap out when it comes to batteries, considering all the things that could go terribly wrong if you do so. Another option I found that has legit battery cells and is a little bit cheaper is from Juiced and it's the Scrambler, the Hyper Scrambler 2. This is also 52 volts and each battery is technically a little bit less at 19.2 amp hours, but the overall watt hour capacity is almost the same. I will admit that the, the bike aesthetically isn't as aggressive, right? It's more mundane, kind of Uber Eats vibe going on and they're asking $2,500 for this bike. It does only have one motor, but you guys know my opinion on that. And if range and battery capacity is your number one priority, uh, the Scrambler looks pretty solid and the batteries are UL certified. If you go any cheaper than this, you're dealing with random, potentially sketchy Chinese companies. I found one that was kinda less sketchy because they had like an official website. It wasn't just on Alibaba. Uh, the brand name is Same Bike. So I think something was lost there in translation. But the bike looks good. You can get it in many different configurations, dual batteries, dual motors, one motor, 
and the batteries are 48 volts. So a little bit less than the prior two bikes. But if I had a guess, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies, but considering the price tag, having two batteries, they're probably not using big brand uh, battery cells like LG or Samsung. And you can't forget about the bike I've recently reviewed, the Rave Bullet GT. They do sell a dual battery model. $2,200, 48 volts. But the second battery isn't full size. It's more of a smaller range extender. So it's a little bit different in that classification. Now, when it comes to the upgrades I'm doing with this bike, I would love to do a dual 72 volt battery configuration. Unfortunately, that's the one limitation with this frame. There's just nowhere to put a second battery. So a little bit unfortunate, but by the time I'm done, this bike is still gonna be an absolute monster. I still am trying to get my hands on the P51 because that frame is very conducive to dual or even tri battery configurations. There's plenty of space to mount as many batteries as you want. I did reach out to the company, but they don't want to send me a bike to review and do these upgrades with, which I understand. However, they did just send a bike to another YouTuber that's smaller than me. So I guess they just don't like me. So my strategy is to give it a little bit of time, reach out to them again, see if they change their mind. And hopefully we can have another bike build pretty soon after I'm done with this one. So that's gonna do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you are subscribed if you wanna see all the changes coming to this bike. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it real.